some breaking news here at 9 26 p.m eastern standard time this is about three and a half four hours old as you guys seen on my live stream i was trying to talk about this for anybody who was paying attention michael staler steps down as microstrategy ceo company takes 917 million charge on bitcoin so i'm going to show you how they're spinning it though in the mainstream they have michael Saylor on and i just want to show you um two different sides of this so yahoo this is what they say I also want to draw our attention to micro strategies. Micro, Michael Saylor is stepping down from his role as CEO, will shift to an executive chairman role. Now, uh, Fung Lee, who previously served as the company's president, CFO, and COO, is going to become the new CEO. Saylor, who was behind micro strategies amassing a billions in Bitcoin, will still serve as chairman of the board in addition to his new role. So basically what that tells me is that they booted him out. I mean, he made a catastrophic mistake. He, um, he lended, I mean, he basically put up MicroStrategies as collateral to buy all of his Bitcoin. So, I mean, something don't smell right here either. This seems like there should be some kind of investigation, but I want to show you what he said himself and how the mainstream is spinning this. So I want you to see how they're saying he's, 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 moves on from his chairman role to focus on his Bitcoin strategy. Now what that means is he got fired and they told him we're not back in Michael's strategy anymore if he's attached to it as the chairman. I mean, uh, as the CEO and now he moves to chairman. I mean, this is a demotion because he's an idiot. So here, let, let me let, let you listen to exactly what's going on. Make sure to hit that motherfucking like button. Share this far and wide on social media. Help me get through this crazy YouTube algorithm. Thanks for having me. Always. Uh, listen, look to just start off on, we just said, I think it's 129,000 roughly a coin, average price of 30,700, spent about 4 billion on it. Uh, one would anticipate if the, uh, if the price stays where it is, that's going to cause a, a significant write down overall, at least your auditors may ask for that. You know, you've talked for years about the financial flexibility owning all that Bitcoin gives you. I wonder if you believe it also works in reverse. No, I think it's been a net positive. Uh, we back tested our strategy against every other alternative. And if you roll the clock back to August 10th of 2020, when we embarked on this journey, Bitcoin's performed 10x better than anything else. Gold's down 10%. NASDAQ is flat. Bitcoin is up 86% since that time. Over any time frame, two years, four years, eight years, Bitcoin's the best performing asset. I can't come up with a better idea. You, you, you can't come up with a better idea. Does that mean that you would actually consider buying more at these prices? Yeah, um, I think uh, if you think about Bitcoin, if your time horizon is one month, it looks like a volatile risk asset. But if your time horizon is 10 years, it looks like a risk off store of value asset. So the, the crossover point is four years. Nobody's ever lost money investing in Bitcoin for four years. And if you want a surrogate for the book value of the Bitcoin network, it would be the four-year simple moving average. The simple moving average of Bitcoin over four years is about twenty-one thousand six hundred eighty-five dollars. Uh, Bitcoin's only. I like how this guy—he's uh, telling you this, but so why didn't he buy Bitcoin at twenty-one thousand? Then why is he buying it at an average of thirty thousand? If he knew all this, he's acting like he knows everything now. He didn't say this before. He acted like it was never going to come back to these numbers. So like. When he's talking like this, where the hell was this at? He's, his buying strategy doesn't suggest that he even understands what he's saying right now. This is all nonsense. If he understood what he's saying, he would do what I did, not bought the top. Or if he did, liquidate his ass out from 30000 when he got the 5960 k get out, you know, take some kind of profit, even though not all of his Bitcoin's going to end up being likely in the profit, even from sixty k down, because he's got to sell a shitload. Um... I mean, he would probably still be in the profit from way up there, obviously, on average. But he should have been out, and he should have been fully liquidated until it got to this point. If he really understood the four-year moving average was around 21.3. So he can feed us all a bunch of bullshit now, but we can see what happened. He stepped down from Michael Strategies as a CEO because he made a big fucking mistake. That, uh, that point a couple of times in its history, and those have right always now. been great yeah. buying opportunities. Right, this yeah, is right. Bitcoin's well, that, on sale. We're touching that.
And for the record, this is exactly what I said was going to happen in the year or two years after. Since I started on YouTube, I said he would eventually have to resign, step down, or however they were going to fire him. Whatever they were going to say to spin it, he was not going to be the CEO at the end of this, and he's not. So that futuristic prediction came absolutely true. We're, yeah, we're touching that price right now. It's funny you should mention it. So is it a great buying opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Bitcoin's backed by the most powerful secure computer network in the world. If I gave you $100 billion, you can't reproduce it. And it's beyond a nation state attack or corporate attack. So once you understand that and the fact that it's a singularity, there is nothing like it in the world, then, yeah, this is an ideal. See, that used to be the case maybe in 2014, Sailor, but we've got 20,000 plus altcoins that can do essentially the exact same thing as Bitcoin. Don't get it twisted. Bitcoin's not the only game in town. It's one of the weakest in town and one of the oldest in town, which means it's got a lot of fucking problems. A lot of problems. It's like the internet, or better yet, the best example I can tell you, Bitcoin, compared to some of these altcoins like XRP and Algo and some of these great hitters, IOTA and the like, XLM, um, XDC, is that Bitcoin is basically like, you remember the music downloading apps like Kaza or Napster back in the day? If you're, you know, a 90s kid or early 2000s like me, you know, I grew up in the late well, I mean, I really grew up in the mid-90s. You know, I was I was real young in the 80s. I was only six at the end of the 80s. So if you're somebody who grew up in the mid to late 90s with Kaza and Napster, so that was two or 1.0. 2.0 versions of that is Netflix, Amazon, Disney Plus, you know, all these streaming services that took their idea. And now you can watch things on the spot. This is how Bitcoin is. Bitcoin's version 1.0. XRP... XLM, the ISO coins, those are all 2.0. Bitcoin can't even hold their jock strap. So, he's fucked. He knows he is. Look at his face. He knows he's fucked. He didn't want to step down as CEO. He lost his leverage to continue to borrow against Michael's strategy. Without being the CEO, I find it hard to believe that he's going to continue to leverage against uh, Michael's strategy for Bitcoin. Tree point to get into this thing. All right, but you've also taken on debt in order to actually accrue that position, uh, which does incur a certain amount of risk, doesn't it? I mean, I know, you know, you've got, uh, you know, six in a, a 1.25 senior notes. They're, you know, 2028. Uh, you've also uh, got maturities that are out there, but there's concern in the market about margin calls, about collateral calls, certainly on some of this debt. Can you clarify for us uh, exactly what those are uh, under the covenants that you currently have and how they may impede your financial flexibility? Yeah, sure. On a multi-billion dollar balance sheet, we've only got a $200 million loan that we have to collateralize. And we're 10x over collateralized on that right now. If the market traded down by a factor of 10, we've got cash and we generate cash flow. So this has all been, the margin call thing is much ado about nothing. It's just made me Twitter famous, so I appreciate that. Uh, and the Twitter trolls love to beat up on me because it gets them engagement. As for the company's balance sheet strategy in general, we borrowed two points. But guys, there's one thing I will say about Michael Saylor. If you're a fan or a proponent of, you know, cryptos or Bitcoin or just uh, digital assets, he's not a bad person to have on your side because he's got a lot of money. It's just if he ever decided to go against what he's saying, it's going to be big trouble for all of us holding coins You know, at that time if we are. But you need somebody of his caliber to be buying this shit and to preach what he's saying. At least he's, you know, I think he's a moron for buying when he did, but at least he's, a, you know, he's doing what he's saying. He's not telling you one thing, doing another. This man... It appears it's going to go down fighting with Bitcoin to the tune of several billion dollars if it goes to shit. So I love him or hate him, you got to admire the fact that he's at least going with his, what he thinks is right. Billion dollars at a blended interest rate of 1.8% before interest rates doubled. Junk bond indexes from 426 basis points to 820 basis points. Mortgage rates have doubled. If you had a chance to grab $2 billion at 1.5% interest, it seems like a reasonable thing to do, and I'm glad we did it. Most of it is unsecured debt. You know, $1.7 billion of it is unsecured. The $500 million comes due in seven years after we borrowed the money. So we feel like we have a fortress balance sheet. We're comfortable, and, uh, and, and the margin loan is well managed.
9.38 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast in the United States of America. I'm XRP, future millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. As you hear the breaking news, Michael Saylor out as CEO of MicroStrategies. MicroStrategy pumps almost 11% today, or better than $17 a share. The biggest one-day move in quite some time as Bitcoin continues to tumble. Michael Saylor talks about how, you know, his, pull, <laughs> his stuff. I hope you enjoyed this, but that is some breaking news. So I'm going to release this to you in just a couple of minutes. But I figure since I've got your attention, let's take a quick look at XRP. We have, in fact, turned down like we were talking about earlier. I talked about how we had an anomaly, how the 200 day, the 100 needed to cross through the 200 before we could even talk about a reversal back up. We've come down to the 36.48, but I don't know if this is going to hold. I think we're going to come down to this downtrending support line here. So basically, we created an inside out wedge. We created the up channel. So we had a uptrending support, which we broke to the downside, back tested as resistance. Along the way, created a downtrending support, which we're going to try to come down to. We already bounced out at once to support resistance. Now we can come down again to support. It could induce another bounce to 38.49 to confirm the pattern on a breakdown. So we're looking at that. So the next hit I would expect if this 36.30 falls through like I anticipate, it likely should would be about 35, 36.02, 35 35.97 to 36.02. And then with Bitcoin, we've got this very, very short-term uptrend that was created. And the reason why I like to do this, so basically, how do I decipher this to being an uptrend? So I've seen a couple questions in the Telegram. So Chris was trying to explain it to some, but he said he wasn't qualified to answer how I did it, which I don't know if that's necessarily true, but I appreciate if that's a compliment. Um, so basically, we had a great push-up on a bull flag, you know, a nice move up. Came down, consolidated, had a nice crash, a flash drop, hit the support right here. So this is the first area where I'm looking for an uptrending support in the immediate short term from July 28th, which is Julie's birthday. We bounced up, came all the way up here, created this descending triangle, point one on support, point one on the resistance, two on resistance, three on resistance, two on support. That's confirmed this descending triangle. The uptrend, we came all the way up here and I literally went out to the first area where we had a true bounce back down because this is a fake out. I wasn't gonna go with the uptrend here because I don't think that's the uptrend. I think this is a head and shoulders pattern and we would have to come back down here to confirm a further break up. But if we break past through here, this is where a big problem starts. So that's how I got this immediate short term uptrend. And notice I hit that perfectly because in order for it to break down, it's gotta get past this crucial area of support but if it holds it, this would be a fake out and it could come back up. Now, I think that this area is just going to hold as a test and then it'll probably come down to the X at 22, 5, 28, like I've been saying. But I did put this out here so everybody could see a hold point where we could possibly hit some uh, support. And that's exactly what happened. So, you know, I, love, I find it fascinating how if you just follow the patterns, how this kind of stuff can happen. But that's a short term. That by no means is the grand scale uptrend. That's just the immediate short term. There's a lot of other things <laughs> going on right now. So I wanted to bring you a in-depth update. But again, the breaking news is Michael Saylor gets the he gets the he gets the pink slip. Michael Saylor has been handed the pink slip, and you know they spun it into saying that he wants to focus on his Bitcoin uh, role and all this other crap with his Bitcoin strategy. And then they said he's the chairman or whatever. But when you get demoted from CEO, you fucked up and you fucked up bad. XRP Future Millionaire, hit that motherfucking like button. I'd really appreciate some more members of Tom's Army. I haven't had a new member in four days, but, 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 starting right now, I want to thank the new members for just this month and every single day as you join, you're going to see it from now on. So real quick, I just want to thank real quick. OG Gary, 14 months. We've got Julie Arwine, 14 months. All these are 14 months. Shane Cagularda, Jeb Cohen, UB2B, Mark Kelly. I want to thank you guys for joining Tom's Army. After, when you start joining, we're going to have, I'm going to talk about everybody who's 14 months. And then from there on out, I'm going to talk about when you rejoin. And I'm going to read you each and every day when we have somebody rejoin. So, Pharaoh. OG Perk, I want to thank you for that. XRP Future Millionaire works his way in there. What a guy. Sale, 14 months. Sean, John London, Darren Ellis, Dancing Jesus, 
Jason Gagnon, H2O Alien, OG Perk, Greg, Power Gear, Colin Orr, Crypto Scrooge checking in at 14 months, Ken Curtis Jr., Matthew Packa, Jordan English, Derek G, CM Massey, Thomas Anderson, Nick Max, Koa, Shuono, Sh or Shwen0910, Stanley Chemina, Mike Sharzowski at 13 months. I'm going to share the top 100 and then we're going to move on. Ashley Russell, 13 months. To Byron, Sean Campbell, Jamie Duarte, uh, Sean Mack, I believe is this one, or wait a minute. Mr. Mack, Danny, Emerson Lau, John Sampson, Brandon Walker, Frank Carbone, Michael, Ed Breton, Ed Sweet, James Palazzo, Palazzo, Stephanus Otto, Ankle Spanker, Alan Gunter, thank you for sticking around, love. Jessica Garcia, you too, thank you so much. Channel has been deleted, but still has been a supporter for one year strong. These are all one years in Brunnen. Bob Stanley checking in at one year. Dogecoin in you, what a son of a bitch that guy is. Good content too, 12 months. Zachary Tibetz, Matthew Weaver, S28 Labs, Marcy Winsley, JLOV, George Kukriza, Dr. Shante checks in at 11 months. Thank you so much, love. Lewis Campa. Lewis! How do we know if it's between the lines, Lewis? How do we know if it's support or resistance, Lewis? If I can't go between the lines, Lewis, what the hell are you talking about, Lewis? I need your help, Frank, because Lewis is driving me nuts. But this is good, Lewis. Everybody loves Lewis. In fact, this particular Lewis has given the single biggest donation at one time to date. Jose Costas. 20 MJ7. Trading with Jay. Odon Tadani. D-Man. Paul Babcock. Tom Gridlin. Shelly Woodson. Min Ho Hong. Sink Laundry. BBB. There's a reason why so many have been around for so long. And checking it at 10 months. C Payne. Fletcher Lenz. Justin Coulthard. Grim Yeager. Janesville Plumbing. Crypto Chuck, checking in at nine months. Hair Ninja, John G, Bobby Robbins, Tracy Bartoli, Curtis Salzman, Hoods Crypto, Fernando, CJC Crisantri, Benny G, checking in at eight months. Sandy, thank you so much, love. Sandy Cortis, Darren White, Daniel Valley, Martin Abelson, Desmond, Aaron B, Schlock Stander, Tom Shaw, Jan, Anthony Sinadu, checks in at seven months. Gortest, driver, shift pod, Storm Patrol, Bennett Kovic, Ocho205, also checking in at seven months. James 600, the ISO headquarters, pulls in there with the last supporter of the seventh month. Also, another great YouTuber, hasn't had a new update in a couple months, but that's because it was getting crowded. But the ISO is heading over, so we'll look for more content there soon. Checking in at six months, one half of a year. Ashish Benzad, Jade Ryan, Rafa Fadez, Herbert Jean, Riz Phillips, Paulo Freitas, Mario Montano, Luis Sanchez. Luis! This is another good Luis as well, Luis! Luis, nobody's mad at you, Luis. We all love you, Luis. We love you long time, Luis. The Duke. Nicholas Walusis, Irvin G, Aaron, Garden Musical, Rajesh Varsani, Varsani, checking in at five months, Michael Cushing, Craig MC, Ted Trumbor, Jerry Cares, Gene M, Let's Talk Life, Dina Wolf, thank you, love, Abram Reyes, Cornella Velasco, XR Perfection, David Schmidt, Crypto Universe, Ruben Vizier, Nick Jacaroso, Kathy Lewis, thank you, love, for the five months. Mr. Anthony Carter, hashtag M2C Mother Second Choice. Video description below if you want to check him out. Exceed Ab, Kayak Y Bike, <laughs> Raul Saluja, Hassan Zen, Lick My Nipples, coming in at five months. Homage, Kashif Rafi, Jurgen Billiton, LA Crypto. Hook Master. Unfortunately, 
it's not gonna look as pretty the last five months because we have had a big drop off in the new subscribers but look at all the old subscribers that have been around and understand the crypto market's been brutal though the last few months where the heck did four months and down go see i told you it was brutal one month ago we've got clinton meckin js laid og perk for uh skeptic we've got nicholas matthews bordage sterling productions matt matthews shamrock coffee conrad williams valley independent darren hunton checks in at 23 days louisville 20 days xrp boom 20 days tin anik 20 days Brett Langstaff, 19 days. Russell Deal, 18 days. Yo P8, 15 days. TC, 13 days. Anthony Wilson, 10 days. And the last person to join Tom's Army, five whole days ago. And as you can see, we've dropped down to 220 members of Tom's Army. So if you're watching me, I'm desperate. I need your help. I need all of your help. I need one person to join Tom's Army just so I feel better. It's been five days. And... I would love to have a few more members of Tom's Army. I'd love to stay over 220, 200 at minimum. Um, a lot of strong supporters, as you can see. We have over, we have 200 members that are at least five months or more. We have 100 that are at least seven months or more. And there's like 45 that are 14 months. So I appreciate the long-standing support. I could not do any of this without you guys. And I really, really do appreciate each and every one of you. And the ones who have been members for 14 months, I cannot thank you enough.